many players, many of you at home, particularly good players, when you're struggling, battling that hook, what's happening is, is that the arms are getting down and behind you. So a couple of things that you can do to assist you with that. One of them is just doing a little baseball drill. What we have here is just a little ball. Well, it's a big ball, and we're setting that right up there like that. Now, what you're going to do is get a baseball bat. And by the way, if you want to go taller with that, with that, you can. But what happens to us when we get stuck is we start this way and the trail elbow gets down underneath and all of a sudden it's like we're hitting the, the, the ball up in there, almost like you're playing softball. So if I was going to do this, the elbow's back here and now I hit it and it's going to go up in the air and you can see how that did not move the, the uh, what I'll call the T, that's a little crayon thing. What I want you to do to get unstuck is something that Derek Jeter was always doing. It's always going to be like high to low. You're just going to feel like your hands are up here and going down like that. So when I get in here, I'm going to be like that. And all of a sudden now, you can see that crayon thing move. That's going to help you get those hands and arms, particularly in a down-the-line view here, Ruddy. If we get to here and we start to go this way and drop underneath. You can see how my hands get underneath the shoulder line. When I go like this, now they're in front and now they're over and now I swing down like that. Now, the other way that we can do this, and this again would get the breed bar out, just crank this thing like that. And then what we do is we take this, just bend it a little bit like that. You know what? This is what you do. You take that and you get rid of that get that weight off. Now, what we do is we make a backswing here. And what I want to do is I want to just avoid this arm. So if I come down this way, I'm going to get stuck in here. The club's going to get behind me. And the halfway down spot right there is perfect. You can see the head of the golf club is inside my hands. That means that that path is going to go out to the push side. And when I come in here, I'm going to have to flip my hands. What we want to do is we want to feel like the hands are coming out and over. And now when I come down right here, you can see the shaft of the golf club is dead parallel to the toe line. And now the club is in front of me. So just doing this little drill where you just feel like you're coming out and over, just like that, it's going to help get the arms in front. Then what you do, you move this back, bring a ball in here like this, and you're going to rehearse this motion. So you're going to get that image. Maybe it's the baseball bat and the ball. Maybe it's that bar right there. But we get up here like this, and now I'm going to feel like I'm letting that arm and hand come down over the top just like that. And what it does is, is it's going to put the arms and hands in front of you. It's going to take that trail elbow and it's going to get that trail elbow in front of the rib cage. This is something Johnny Miller talked about all the time was one of the keys for his game was getting that trail elbow in there just like that. Then we get a feel of what we're doing. Come over the top. Now what happens is that ball doesn't curve at all. But watch the distance that this ball has. This is probably 10 to, to 15 yards past my target. Yeah, that was 192.